Hey, what's up everybody? It is one in the morning and we're still doing awesome stuff with Slicer Pruce Edition. So one of the things that Slicer can do, it's more, it's more than just a slicer. I mean, okay, it is a slicer, but it can do more things than you think it can because there's hidden features that nobody talks about. Uh, and one of them is one of my favorite features because I'll download stuff and it has multi-parts on one STL. And sometimes I only want one piece of that STL and I want to print that one or let's say it's a bunch of things and you want to grow them and it won't fit all as one STL, you just want pieces. I can show you how to do that in Slicer. And it's pretty simple. So we just have a blank Slicer here. We're going to go ahead and go to File, Open. Again, you can use Command-O in Mac. You can use Control-O in the PC, uh, Windows PC world. And I have here the Golden Gun STL. You can see we can see that it's a multi-part STL. We'll open that. There it is. I'll hit the L button to spin that around because I wouldn't print it with all the things I can't see in the background. Uh, but yeah, there's there's the print, but it's all one piece. I can't I can't. Uh. So let's say we just printed this. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put a really negative uh, uh, scenario here. Uh, we were printing this, and oh my gosh, uh, this this guy fell over. This thing that's supposed to be a cigarette case. That thing fell over, or you know this piece didn't print correctly, and you want to reprint it with some supports or whatever you want to do. You just want that one piece. So how you do that? Well, you know, it's actually pretty easy. So you can either do right click and go to settings or what I like to do, thanks to someone on the forum, is just double click the whole thing. And there it is, there's the bed of things. Here's the object and all that fun stuff. But if you click on the actual object, boom, Golden Gun 1 STL, there's an option called split part. And all that does is splits all the separate meshes from that. So if I do that and hit split part, boom, there it is. There's all my STLs, one through 11. And this is the part we want. Part we want is STL4. So we do have to go in here individually and delete everything but STL number four. But this means that we don't have to go into something like Mesh Mixer or you know load it up into Fusion and rip apart things to get to just the STL there. You can do it all in this single program right here. Click OK, and there it is. There's our one file. You can rotate it around and do fun stuff. You can grow it and be like, okay, I'm going to print all the parts individually like this. Um, can't, can't do anything with that. But let's go ahead and show you something else you can do. So let me go ahead and go to scale uniformly. And we're going to go back to 100. And there it is. We're going to do something fun here. Uh, we can actually go to file and we can, no, no, we can go to export plate as STL. And this can just be, you know, gun part four. Save. And if we go to our desktop here and we head over to our downloads where it put it, there it is. You can actually save out each individual part two for later printing. So, I mean, this isn't the, the this probably isn't the best one with 11 pieces in it for this, but you can use Slicer to rip apart a multi part. STL and get those individual pieces so you can print them and do fancy things to them and all that fun stuff. So I hope this helped you out guys uh, and gals. So stay tuned for more videos from me on Slicer Bruce Edition in the near future.